Hi, welcome back to Two to Beat. My name hey. is Salva. This is my brother Dacha. And our dog Jackie. And our dog Jackie. Hey, buddy. And before we uh, go ahead, we want to let, obviously, Jackie has an agenda. So we want to address him first. Isn't that right, Jackie? So there is a say that the dog looks like, their, looks like their owner. And we tried this a little oh, bit. His agenda's oh. calling. That's okay. okay. Well, anyway. Well, that's the second time we tried on the show. But that's okay. Actually, the third. It, it has been told that Jackie and I look alike, and the critic agrees. So that was us proving that again. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, if you got a pet, um, you think you look like your pet, or you got a favorite stuffed animal, you think you look like your favorite stuffed animal, send us a picture, drop it in the comments. Absolutely. Uh, we'll, we might feature you in a future episode. We'd love um, to hear from you, and obviously your pets. They're yeah. cool too, yeah. Send us a picture. Absolutely. That'd okay. be awesome. Any, any pets, any stuffed animals, you know, uh, any sculptures you have, any... Any paintings? Any paintings, you know, any yeah. artistic... Uh, Gar- garden decorations, it's springtime. Yeah. You think you think you look like a, something in your garden? You think you look uh, like a, a tree, maybe a, a rock? Who knows? Anything, any Anyone. lookalikes, send them our way. We can feature you on an episode if you'd like. Um, drop it in the comments. Awesome. Starting cool. this episode off, yeah. we have yesterday's riddle. That's right. Which was there is a truck driver going on the opposite way of a one way street. There is also a police officer who is on duty. And doing his job, but the police officer notices the truck driver, but does not pull him over. The question is why. And so we got a couple responses. That's right. Didn't so we? yeah. Uh, um, actually, uh, the traditionally correct answer that we were looking for, nobody actually guessed. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a lot of good witty answers. So Sava, tell us real quick what the an- the, the traditional answer was. So the answer that we had in mind. Oh, Jackie! Jackie is a uh, tomorrow is Jackie's bath day. Oh yeah, so, uh, it's wash day. It's yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, so, tomorrow's also he's a little. Uh, you know, t- tomorrow's also Dutch's wash day. <laughs> it, it's that time of year again. That's anyway, um, no, uh, I'm kidding. But you were saying the, the answer that I had in mind when I wrote the riddle, I, when I copied it from Google, <clears throat> uh, is that uh, it is only a truck driver, not necessarily driving a truck, but only someone or like a truck driver. The same way as I could be called. A violinist, but I'm not always playing the violin. That's right. So you know this is saying? only the person who's driving the truck. Yeah. So as if, like, the, the person I'm, outside the truck. Yes. Without the truck. Who's and doing so what? Who's just walking down the street. The opposite way. Yeah. And so it doesn't matter. Which is totally legal. On a one-way street, it doesn't matter which way you walk. And this person happens to be a truck driver. Mm-hmm. And just so happens to be walking the incorrect way. Which, by the police officer, has absolutely no problem with it. That's right. So we got some other really awesome outside the box answers. Uh-huh. Kyle reminds us, uh, oh, reminds us, um, says potentially the police officer was too busy drinking coffee and eating a donut. Possible. Possibly. Quite possible. Quite possible. Um, Tedora says the police officer was off duty. Uh, similar situation. Yeah. Um, uh, Heike says the truck was driven in reverse, which is interesting. That is, you know. Yeah, sure. The ri- I believe the wording of the riddle said that the truck was going the wrong way. It doesn't necessarily, you know, front or back. In- yeah, include the orientation of the truck. It's just the truck's movement was in the opposite direction that it should be. But Whether- that, but I mean, it's it's that's an awesome box. answer. Absolutely, that's awesome. Uh, we've decided our winning answer uh, comes from Wichter, who says the truck was a fire truck, and it needed to get to. The it's fire as quick as possible so the police officer let it go by. So congratulations, which Wichter. Is, which is um, an absolutely correct answer. Your congratulatory poster is on its way to you. Uh-huh. Um, congrats. We'll have another riddle at the end of the episode. Thanks to everybody who responded. Thanks, uh, Wichter, Kyle, Tedora, and Heike. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, keep those responses coming. We also want to take a quick moment to give a huge shout-out and thank you to Kyle. Huge who thank is you. Um, doing us a huge, um, you know, a, a huge deal. A, a he's, good deed. Um, he's helping us support the Boston Youth Symphony Orchestras. He is um, generously donating half his allowance, which is huge. So thank you, Kyle. That is awesome. Thank um, you. It's generosity like that in these times that that's gonna you know help us help us get through this. We may be physically apart, but but that sort of generosity uh, it keeps you know, us together. It keeps us together, no matter yeah. how far away we are physically. So, big so that's snaps awesome. For Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. Everybody, you know, show a little appreciation for Kyle. Mm. That is awesome. Thank you, man, so much. That's huge. Um, that is. Yeah, keep those song wrecks coming. If you want us to play a song, 
Let us know. We'll put it on the program. Yeah. No problem. Let us know. All right. So what's the first song? For Our first piece of music. We are off to see The Wizard from the very classic. First it was a movie and then was a play. The Wizard of Oz. Originally came out in 1939. I and believe it's pronounced The Wizard of O's. O's. The Wizard of Ounces, actually. Actually, first it was a book, but. Well, yeah, that's true. First it was a book, uh, but then it became a. Uh, Sava was in charge of doing the research. Well, actually, Clearly. I do have a fun fact. Oh, yeah? Up until now, is it I was... a true fun fact? It is a true fun fact. Up until now, I was under the impression that The Wizard of Oz was the first color film. Uh, and it was among the first. Certainly. However, there were uh, a, a dozen films made before it. Uh, the first one, I believe, came out in 1936. First, like, actual legit color film. Yeah. However, The, the Wizard reason, of Oz was 1939. 1939. The reason The Wizard of Oz has... That kind of uh, like, title, title, I guess, is because it was the first uh, movie to use a technology called Technicolor or Technicolor, which is essentially well. Okay, so before Technicolor became used, the way they would color a film is by tinting each individual frame. You know, you, you'd 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 have your oh shoot, I forget the name. Your frames. Yeah, you're, you're, real. You're, you're real, and you you clip it onto a projector, and it would play pictures very quickly to make it look like a a, a movie, and so people a moving picture, a moving picture. People would have to go through and individually tint and maybe color. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Each individual frame. So what Technicolor did was it went through a three color process where they take the entire reel, they unwind it so that it's one long strip, and they do uh, like RGB. They do all the reds. In one process, and then they do all the uh, greens. That's probably what G stands for, yes. <laughs> and then they do what all the blues. What does B stand for? Blues. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, Burgundy. No, I'm kidding. Blue. And so then, uh, that was that was like a, a very simple and a lot more efficient way of coloring a film. And so that's a little bit of history of The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Ounces, if you will. Sav so was a big Wikipedia guy. Huge Wikipedia <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, I confirmed that on, like, two different sources. Oh, cross-checking. Oh, nice. yes. Well, I'm not here. I'm not over here spreading. about to spread fake news. All around. right. Here we go. I can't see the music because your spell wasn't working. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. We're off to see the wizard. That we are. <laughs> note at the end it's fine. it's fine it's fine that's a little exactly, improv that's not exactly how harold arlen wrote it but you know that's okay <sighs> bummer uh, if you notice after i told dr to move a scroll he just moved it right back which is fine <laughs> but that's okay maybe we can work on that for next time maybe, maybe yeah. we'll see we'll see it's hard uh speaking of next time we have a new segment on the show um i'm hang on i'm very excited with this segment we're calling it sava's big think and essentially what it is... I had little to do with the naming of this segment. Well, I, and I had all of to do with the naming of this Apparently. segment. And Sava's big think is basically me philosophizing in front of you all. So uh, I'm going to take a seat here. Oh yeah, so <laughs> those of you who follow me on Instagram know that I love to post on my stories uh, a lot of my ideas, some of which are supposed to be funny, some of which are like actually kind of serious. So I took some of the funny ones, I took ones that are thought-provoking... And I, I'm going to share them with you today. So, starting with the first one, I believe volleyball is just advanced hot potato. What do we think about that? We agree? Sure. Sure. Advanced hot potato. Any machine is a smoke machine if you use it wrong enough. Valid. Yeah? Valid? Uh, any, any machine, yeah. 
Uh, a question. At what point does a revolving door become a blender? Um, that's a little dark. Uh, now, see, the, the definition of blender, if, if I do recall this correctly, because I was actually interested, is it's anything that mixes using, like, blades. And so, technically, you could consider oh, glass blades. doors being blades. Well, what's the it's definition more of like blade? a fan blade type well, sure, yeah. item. Anyway, let us know in the comments down below. At what point does a revolving door become a blender? I'm interested. I don't know. Um, I hope oh, never. This one, actually. A whale is a mammal, so technically we can milk it and make whale cheese. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Fun fact. Nobody wants whale fun cheese. Fun fact. Whale cheese is actually the consistency of toothpaste. Oh! No, milk. Whale milk, not cheese. Nobody yeah, no, no, no. Cheese. Well, yeah, whale milk. Whale milk. Um, That's that, disgusting. That, that way, it's, it's easier to, you know, float around the water. You don't want it... To, just like I touch my face but that requires face touching that's disgusting yeah young third well I mean we, we like bagels you know you put locks on a bagel why are you putting a, a slice of fish on a bagel <laughs> why not why not just don't ask put, me like, these sorts of questions whale cheese cream I can't cheese take these questions on an empty that's, stomach that's also patent that I'm waiting on <laughs> whale cheese cream cheese nobody is gonna prove uh, that <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh is we just went down to zero viewers. <laughs> um, is, I'm going to show you on the globe here where we're going to banish Sal when he makes a whale cheese. <laughs> whale cheese cream cheese. Is oh. Google Earth the most high resolution image? Uh, oh. Is Google Earth the highest resolution That's image? That's way nicer than the whale cheese. Whale like cheese cream question. cheese. Let us know. Um, what happens when you turn an invisibility cloak inside out? Does the whole world become invisible? And you're the only visible thing? Or do you... What if you just hold it flat? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Let us know. That wraps up Sava's big think. I'm going to stand up now. Yeah. <laughs> and we're about to play our next piece of music. We're off to see the wizard. No, we've already played that. We just played that one. That we did. Um, oh. Uh, this is a good um, one. Th we're playing this one. Biome Cabbage Down. Another so, classic fiddle song. Uh, yeah. Dude. So as Dasha just uh, told us, we're going to play another piece of fiddle music. Fiddle music is uh, any sort of folk tune played on a stringed instrument. Yeah. Uh, yeah, loosely. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times, American fiddle style involves uh, sort of a chord bass and an improvisation over those chords. Uh -huh. uh, you know, when you, if you play more classical music, you know, there are some exceptions in the Baroque period. Most classical music, um, every single note is written down, and it's sort of like heresy to change those notes. You know, the composer wanted it. Composer wrote it. Uh -huh. uh, fiddle music is much looser. It uh, allows for more personal interpretation. Just a different style. Yeah, it's often also taught by ear. So if you have like a fiddle teacher, the teacher oftentimes would just play a piece and you would try to replicate it. And so not a whole lot of fiddle tunes are written down. It's just passed down uh, or passed from teacher ear to by ear. By ear, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this one, Boiling Cabbage Down, uh, is about boiling cabbage. Yeah. We, um, are you sure about that? Was that on Wikipedia? Did you did you cross check no, your sources? Bile is sort of like a slang for boil. Bile um, actually is what you call the sludge in your stomach. I learned that in biology class. Bile. This is not about that. You can put that away with your whale cheese. <laughs> your whale cheese. In in the box of bad ideas. <laughs> the, the the bad idea box or bib for short. Put that in the bib. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I need to take a break. <laughs> I need to let me let me center myself. You know, sometimes the truth is go the hardest to, yeah, go to the happy place. Go to the happy place. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Bio couch down. Um, let's go.
Yeehaw. That's right. Boil them cabbage, boil them cabbage down. Boil them cabbage. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, so we actually have the bad idea box. This, right here. this is this is the bad idea box. Uh, it may look like it's designed for tissues. Uh, in for fact, nice. it's designed for Shava's bad ideas. Yeah. So if you look closely, I can write down all my bad whale ideas. cheese. Uh-huh. Um, that's deep in there. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll keep adding to this box, I'm sure. <laughs> um, the bad idea. I like it. Uh, speaking of food, you know, whale cheese. We have oh my favorite segment. Oh, it's. Joke times! Nothing to do about food. It's Still joke time! Food. It's joke time! It's joke time! It's joke Woo! time! That's right! Uh, we have some jokes. This is actually an incredible episode because this is the one millionth joke we've told on the episode. On the show. Oh yeah, it is! That's not true. Number one million. It's a big number. But, you know... We're probably close, at least. I, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, uh, why did the man put his money in the freezer? Why did the man put his money in the freezer? Uh, because that was a safe place to store it. Because not a lot of people look in the freezer. I don't know why. Solid. An example of a good witty answer. He wanted cold, hard cash. I get it. Yay! Wait, wait. How would it be hard, though? Um, yeah, I mean, you got the cold part. Well, it's a solid, you know, paper. Well, that's true. Should we move on to the next one? Let's move on to the next yeah. one. Don't question too much. Also, Sava wrote... Sava wrote. Sava writes the script. So if you got a clarifying question about the Joker, I wonder whose fault that is. Uh, why couldn't the astronaut book a hotel on the moon? No, I have to clarify. We're assuming in this joke that there are hotels on the moon. There are hotels on the moon. Of course. Where else would the astronauts stay? I don't know why. <laughs> because it was full. Oh, yeah, that's, it, that's like funny. a full moon. Oh, full moon. Oh, 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 oh pound on the back there. That was, that was a good joke. Uh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> wow. Okay. I'm waiting for the next joke. How do pickles enjoy a day out? How do pickles enjoy? That's not. That's how, not. How, wait, hang on, hang on. How do? Pi- Is it? Is that? Is it? Is that whale? It's whale cheese. Whale cheese? Whale cheese? Oh, oh, oh Lord. This oh. episode, usually they deteriorate at the end when we get to uh, Twinkle Twinkle, but... Oh, this is whale cheese. A little, 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 little squirt of whale cheese there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. That's actually... Do you want to squirt? No, oh. no. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. Well, I'll all right. Real. See you guys tomorrow. That's it. All right, I'll tell this joke. Uh, how do pickles enjoy a day out? They relish it. Oh, that's so much funnier with just me. But you can come back though. All right, I'm ready. Next joke. I think I just all of lunch just left my body. What? <laughs> what do you call an old snowman? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Water. Oh. Uh, that's funny, though. That's a good joke. That's a good joke. What's a pirate's favorite letter? R. Actually, that's way funnier. The script that one of us wrote says C. But R is better. Oh, but see, now, writing the script gives you the advantage of making Dodge just say the stupid answer. <sighs> so, I mean, <laughs> this is a tough episode. This is a tough one. <laughs> I win. Uh, I win this round. Coach. All right, the <laughs> riddle. The whale cheese. Um, what is cut and distributed on a table, but is never eaten? Never eaten, but is cut and distributed <laughs> on a table. <laughs> Speaking of food, um, what is cut and distributed on a piece on a table, but is never eaten? So once again, if you got a, if you think you know what the traditionally correct answer is, leave it in the comments. If you think you have a out of the box witty answer, also leave in the comments. You can leave as many answers as you want. Uh, if you win, you'll win a uh, awesome prize. It could be a poster. It could be a Ferrari. It could be some it, whale cheese. It could be a w- wait. What are we calling um, that? A dollop of whale cheese. <laughs> uh, it could also be um, you know we'll take your song wreck. And speaking of song wrecks, uh, we got a couple in the pipeline. Uh, we know Miss Die. You have requested uh, some Beatles. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we played the Beatles. You have requested uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Simon and Garfunkel, an absolute classic. Uh, we hear you. We're still working on an arrangement for that. 
Uh, so stay tuned. It is on its way. Um, and also, Morgan, Maddie, and Miles, uh, we hear you requested some handle. Um, we're also working on that. That is on its way. Stay tuned. We have not forgotten. Um, the critic is giving us information. We're getting, we're getting some breaking news. Oh, that's right. If you have a song rec, uh, um, about actually, um, uh, to, uh, Morgan, Maddie, and Miles, uh, if you have some details, uh, to let us know which, um, which of Handel's music you would like us to play, um, because I believe the, the song you requested is actually like, uh, like an hour long. Um, we would love to play that. It's awesome music. That'd be, um, that'd be a, a bit of a chunky but we can just, we can just, uh, like, I, we could take a sample, um. Uh, you know, there's some. The, he composed a water music, which is a bunch of really famous melodies. So, oh. uh, let us know. Uh, let us know. But uh, Miss Di, Morgan, Maddie, Miles, stay tuned. Your wrecks are on their way. Stay tuned. Um, oh, oh yeah. All right. We did not forget about you. I'm smart. Uh, but for now, now uh, what are we gonna play? We're gonna play. We're gonna play uh, so okay, so we played a bunch of Scott Joplin. It's pretty much. It's sort of a favorite composer on the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a guest comp- if he was still alive, to he would be, uh, Scott. Yeah, M- Mr. Joplin. Mr. Joplin. Uh, guest artist on the show again. Uh, African-American pianist and composer. Late 19th century, early 20th century, known for ragtime mm-hmm. music. This piece we mentioned earlier, I think a couple episodes ago, is called The Entertainer. And it it's, is... It's the, the ice cream it's truck the ice cream song. It's the ice cream truck song. song. It's the ice cream truck song. Yeah, so next time you hear the ice cream truck, which, you know... Wait, if you can make whale cheese, can you also make whale ice cream? Speaking Next time you hear the ice cream truck song and someone says, "Oh my goodness, that's the ice cream truck song," you can act, you can be like, "Actually, that's Scott Joplin's Entertainer." But I guess ice cream truck song works too. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. Are we gonna let me see the fourth page? We? Yes, we might. Yeah. Uh, okay. Appropriate use of the royal we <laughs> for your what is it, Duke of Exeter? Oh, uh, Prince. 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 You want to step forward? Will it, will it fall? Here we go. <laughs>
Scott Joplin. Sure. The ice cream. Remember, Scott sold. Joplin's. Uh, uh, oh, now it's time for the safest part of the show. You know the safety what PSA. Is. Time for the safety PSA. Oh boy, the safety PSA. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I, I cough and sneeze. I'll, I'll do it um, in the form Jeopardy of, of a slam poet, slam poem. Ooh, slam poetry. <clears throat> I cough and sneeze on the inside of my elbow. I stand six feet apart from others, but I wash my hands, which become so close together, and between them is soap and warm. Lots and lots and lots of soap Oop. and warm water. I do not touch my face besides necessary hygiene. For example, brushing my teeth or putting in my contact Lenses. Or your anti-gravity age-defying face lotion like blasting off to outer space <gasps> where there are hotels on the moon with lots and lots of hand sanitizer. As long as and after I touch my face, I wash my hands once more where they come so close together but cannot touch. Why? Because in between them are cooties that cannot spread. And soap. Lots of soap. Lots of soap. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on the strangest safety PSA yet. Right. No, I like that. That that was so. Wait, so wait, wait, hang on, hang on. That safety PSA that was like the biggest dump of emotion I've had all week. <laughs> I'm I'm now purged of all my negative energy because I have been enlightened with poetry. So improvisational um, poetry. Let me let me pose a scenario for you. Um, I just touched my face. Um, I just coughed into my hands, which you're not supposed to do. It's supposed to be the inside of your elbow. If you paid attention to the poem. Uh, but I made a mistake. I coughed into my elbow. I touched my face. I mean, I coughed into my hands. I touched my face. I was digging in the dirt. Um, I was, you know, Jackie licked my hand. Uh, and I'm trying to wash my hands. And I don't know how long to wash my hands for. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. And, and how do I know how long 20 seconds is? By seeing the next song, which is going to be Twinkle Twinkle. A song you sing when you're washing your hands. A song. Oh, Twinkle Twinkle actually twice. because That's know. true. We play it twice. Yeah. Once through is 20 seconds. Twice through is 40 seconds. It, isn't Probably. it? Probably. Uh, we'll double check that it, well, it later. It depends on the speed in which you play the piece. You can make it five That's seconds true. long. You can make it five hours long. That's true. Um, you. If you're in doubt, keep washing your hands. Yeah. Don't wash them too much. They'll fall off. At but least, you have to wash for a long at time. At least that's how the saying goes. That's There's no saying. Mm -hmm. I just made that up. Twinkle, twinkle. I say it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yes. Um, also, actually, no, today we should switch it up. Actually, yeah, no, we switched it up last episode. Should, yeah, okay, so just... So this is actually multiple choice. Um, you can, if you would like, sing along. Some options for you are Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Baba ba Black Sheep, the alphabet song, um, and, uh, you know, yeah, anything else. Um, sure. uh, and, so it's going to be like a little multiple choice question. Answer A... Uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, answer B, the alphabet song, answer, answer C, Baba Black Sheep, or answer D, all of the above. Sing them all at the same time. Yeah. Sing them all three at the same time. Um, um, and if you would like, uh, if you could help us support the Boston Youth Symphony Orchestras by clicking the donate button up there, um, that would be super awesome. We would appreciate it very much. Um, and so would, uh, all the deserving kids at Boston Youth Symphony Orchestras who will be helping, uh, get a... Awesome musical education, experience in an orchestra, private lessons, instruments, uh, summer camp, uh, sort of a music boot camp, exposure to repertoire, opportunities to perform in the best venues in Boston, uh, including Symphony Hall. Uh, that's huge. We would like to thank everybody, Kyle, everybody for your support yeah. thus far. Here we go.
for sure. Yeah. Catch you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Tune in uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. 7 Eastern. Eastern. Yeah. See you then.